how to add external links to your end screens. That's what we talk about today. Here we go. This is the YouTube Studio, something that you'll be used to by now. For you to add links to your end screens, you go to videos on the left hand side. You pick the video that you want to add end screens to. We show you this test video here. Currently there are links on the right hand side here to the cards and end screens, but that is for the classic mode. If you want the actual editor, you go to the left hand side and click editor. The reason I suggest using the editor is the classic mode will disappear soon if it hasn't done so already. Now to add your link to your end screen, you click add end screen. You can use a default template, but in this case I'm suggesting you use a blank template. It will then give you four boxes here. If you click on one of them and then click link, it will then ask you to type in the link that you'd like to add to your video. It does need to be one of your approved sites. So in this case, alanspice.com is approved and there is a long list of sites that you can use for like charity events and stuff. I'll put that in the description down below. You click apply and then it adds it to the video. In the top right hand corner, you'll see a mock-up of how it will look. This is now your link and the box that it will expand to if you mouse over. On the left hand side, you will see the link that you have given, the custom message that the link will go to. You can choose a picture that goes in there and you can choose the call to action. So if it's a download link, if it's a visit link, if it's something to buy, or if you're wanting to add your own graphic work, you click the pencil here. It will then suggest images that you might want to pull from the site for this box, or you can select your own one from your computer. So in this case, I've selected this one, and I click apply. It will display up here the image. You can move it around wherever you want, right? And if you want to change the time it starts, you can change it any time within the last 20 seconds of your video by simply dragging the duration, normally to match where you're pointing out the call or action. Just like that one. There you go. Remember, you'll need at least one end screen card that will be a video or a playlist for it to save. And then you click Save. If you want to learn how to add any other end screen element, click on the playlist on the left-hand side of the screen now.